so they have sometimes trims like that just on the floor uh, sometimes it is cheaper than um, in the roll but sometimes it's the same they just have leftovers and they won't give you a discount but sometimes you can talk them into a discount so I'm just thinking so I'm definitely gonna get this black one they have this in white but I'm getting this in black for like corsets and stuff So I'm getting this for probably um, like a kimono uh, details, maybe pockets, I'm not sure. Maybe for a tote. Uh, how much? This one, $3 this piece. $3? $2. $2, okay, $2. okay. $2. thank you. We are in another store and uh, let me show you, it has a lot of fabrics. Um, this is how they cut the fabric here and there's just so much good stuff. Look at this, it's like a candy shop. It's ridiculous. Here to get some trims for fur, but they have really good mesh in the store. So let's check out some mesh. This, like I love the terracotta. It reminds me like little Spanish motifs and stuff. I love the terracotta, I love the blue. I think it's, the camera doesn't really do the justice. It's more beautiful in, per um, in person. It's beautiful and it's um, rayon, so it's very breathable. I'm probably gonna be getting that one. Like, look at this beautiful velvet, it's so vivid. This fabric last time, I liked it a lot. Okay, thank you. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I am in love. This is what I just found. Oh my gosh, look. They're cutting fabric. I love this so much. I'm gonna get it. I don't know how much it is, but it's great. And they have the same thing in like warm silver. And I bought this fabric last time a little bit. I have it still. I haven't done anything with it yet. Look at all the interfacing they have. It's so good. So I told you that they have amazing mesh. Let me just show you a few pieces because it's just amazing for like kimonos or I usually make kimonos out of that, but also like skirts um, for Burning Man, you know. One, you see this with this gonna be kimono out of this mesh. I know it's wild, but it's for Burning Man. And then I'm gonna add some sequin sleeves and it's gonna be epic, black sequin sleeves. I'm coming back for you, baby. This is secret hallway. This is my favorite trim store in Los Angeles. for a chair it's not related to this vlog but i need to not forget to buy it i need to remember to buy it because i'm upholstering a chair i'll show you guys it's too much it's truly too much i'm trying to talk over the music um so i won't get copyright but i it's lace uh elastics cording zippers buttons fabrics in like unlimited unlimited amount of stuff it's, 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 it's just it's unlimited you see they have amazing trims like these ones I always buy and then I add to a necklace or a, like kimono it's just not these ones these ones I don't like but like this type you guys saw me I have a video of embroidering this piece look at the lace this is all the buttons and it's just much okay. there we're on the floor focus on the trims um on the segment with paillettes for kimono so let me go there yet would be in this section and I am running out of the gold ones so sometimes, very often when I sew with paillettes, I break needle. I was sewing with this one and I broke five needles. And it's not the good one because every time I iron it, it becomes like matte. So 
I think it's the same time. They're too rigid and you need to get like a softer version a little bit. It's just, you see, so these are, would be like for curtains and stuff. So you can totally, like people can totally use it for other pieces. I'm looking for cording. That's what I need to find. I think they have a whole section. Um, I just need a simple cording for upholstery. It's, it's an interesting fabric, actually. Sometimes you can find crazy good. Actually, I really like that fabric. <laughs> Sometimes you can find gems in just these piles of things. So. This is kind of closer to what I'm looking for, but I don't want it to be finished. This is where you put, um, you know, in the pillows and stuff. Okay, this is cording. I like it. It's thick. It's not enough, but it's too thick. But I like it for maybe something else. Do you look? So I'm not finding it yet, but this is the place where they sell elastics, and I think I will find cording here as well. Um, let me let me show you around because it's a lot this is even more fabrics i'm telling you and this is just four stores that i'm usually shopping at i don't even know what else downtown la has to offer because even like this is overwhelming it, it is it's, it's so many options Okay, sometimes you have to climb. <laughs> so wish me luck. Things you do for fashion. <laughs> Come here. There you have it. So let me just show you what I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get this one and I got it. And this is the one I use all the time. So it's success. And now I have to climb back. <laughs> if I were to stay here all day, I would also be going through these pieces, which is just a bunch of um, brooches and other metal parts that you can use, like accessories. But I really kind of like this snake. I kind of like it. Maybe I can just add some stuff, some rhinestones to this. I might be taking it. You know, they have cheesy, terrible ones, but they also have really good ones some metal plates it says Jenny if it, if it said nothing I would have picked it up but okay that's some, some terrible stuff we have some terrible stuff but they also have some good ones oh, Oops. I, the danger is that once you start digging it's hard to stop. Oh my god, okay. I need to be mindful of time. So I got this. This is the one that I use all the time. I picked it up. I really like this trim. It's truly gorgeous. I use it in my tomorrows all the time. Like this oh my god guys I'm taking this I needed some thick chains so this is you know what I really want I want burrito like these bits right we can use it for jewelry that's it I got these few pieces we don't know what we're gonna use it for, but we're gonna use it for something. Hello, hello. Okay, so I am tired, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm in my studio. I'm, I'm gonna be doing some random project. I will take you with me. So I hope you enjoy going to downtown. So I have Cricut machine that I barely use. So I basically printed some, I cut some vinyl and it says Hollywood. I know, like, I don't know why, what I was thinking and why, but Hollywood it is. And I'm gonna edit somewhere. We'll see what happens. I pinned it, this is just pinned. So we'll see what's gonna happen. You know, I have this idea. I have to 
stop thinking about it and like move on otherwise it's like it's in the back of my mind oh this is how it looks when it's weaved i haven't weaved it yet i forgot completely <laughs> so you're supposed to weave it so you see there's some japanese lettering i did i usually use the same things called i am that i think i hope i'm spelling it right but that's what i kind of figured out how to spell in japanese if someone that that is who is japanese is watching they'll be probably cringing because it's probably not to say the way to you say i am but yeah you weave it and then you just um, it's a heat press so i'll add it you know like it's gonna it's we'll see you know i'm just experimenting hollywood and i am maybe hollywood could be like reversed because one of them i messed up and i actually put it on the wrong side oh this is how it looks oh how cute look i have hollywood right here i kind of like it just on the shirt see now i'm going off track like can I do a whole sleeve Hollywood? Is it like too much? Is it too wasteful? Or is it gonna be like the coolest shirt ever? And if I do, how am I? S I'm gonna experiment. Maybe in the back? I don't know. Okay, I pinned it. I pinned it. We'll see. I'm not going to just I'm not going to panic. It's just vinyl. Like why are we always worried when we do something new? Just going to heat press it and see what happens. Right? Okay. And then you're supposed to wait for it to cool off. And the wait is the most challenging part for me. I just really want to see. No, no, see it's not transferring, so hold on. So this is how it's going now i'm going to flip the sleeve and i'm going to attach the rest i cut the part that's attached already what do we have so let's see um it's always like such a to do in your mind but in reality it doesn't take that long but i, I don't think I can, I can hold my camera and peel it so maybe it is a to do <laughs> one second so, I mean, it, it gets stuck in, a, in certain places, so I'll just have to carefully take the plastic part off and then we're going to heat press it again. I think it's gonna, it's gonna be fine. Okay, are we ready? Because I have not tried it on. Are we ready? Okay, let me, let me, let me try it on. One second. Okay, hey, oh, that's becoming anticlimactic. One second. Okay, are we ready? I'm putting it on. Are we ready? Are we ready? How cute! This is, I love the sleeve. That was a great idea. Maybe I should have gone all, but maybe not. It's Hollywood, baby. I don't know. I think it's like reflecting. And you're gonna ask me, where's the crocodile rock go? The one in the back. I know it's anticlimactic, but subtlety is a taste is a good sign of taste, right? It's a sign of taste. I think it's my favorite hoodie so far. <sighs> I want to add more stuff to it, but no, we're gonna stop. I just mentioned subtlety. Hollywood and Elton John. You cannot see me full height. See so if you can now. Okay, so here's the here's the full height view. How adorable. I love this sleeve. Who would have thought? I think it's it's like so unusual. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that was successful. And now I have a cool sweatshirt. This project took me 20 days to think about or even longer and 20 minutes to do. So the lesson is for both of us is to just do it. Just fucking do it. Okay. And this is applies to you as well. If you have a, if you have a dream, if you have a project you're thinking about, have an idea that you are thinking about, my phone is crooked. If you have an idea that you're thinking about, execute it and do not wait. Because what's the point? Now it's not going to take any real estate in my in my head because it's actualized. It's like the physical thing. I'm done and I'm also happy with it. Yay. Okay. I'm going to get coffee. 
today. Maybe I'll take you with me. It's going to be at Earth Cafe, of course. And I'll see you later. Bye. Cosmo, Jody and I are having coffee and we saw this and we thought of you and we think it's perfect and we want it to be in all the stores. <laughs> we love you. See, she's flipping. We're like tourists. Oh yeah, yeah, Warhol, yeah. Um, okay, so today's been a crazy day, like always, but I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. This is one of the that I made, one of my favorite ones. There's this weird eye in here, as you can see. Yeah, being filming and taking photos and busy. I really want some coffee. We're gonna get some coffee after. Oops, I haven't had any food yet, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> 